it's honestly not a great time to be a superhero fan especially if you're a flash fan because unfortunately flash has now become the worst box office flop in superhero movie history it's expected to lose 200 million dollars for warner brothers while having a budget of 220 million which is insane so yeah it's literally the biggest financial loss ever suffered by a studio because of a superhero film so as i'm discussing the movie and like the entire discussion around it feel free to like you know jump around in the video i have linked chapters in the description and while this movie might have the record now for the worst performing superhero film ever this video is actually kind of a personal record for me also because this is actually the first time in my life i'm talking about a movie i have not seen and there's kind of a funny story behind it so i was in a fortnite match with some of my friends you know we were like dominating the lobby you know just getting kills left right and center and because of that you know we had a bit of time to just like you know talk and chat about stuff and one of my friends being the absolute crazy person he is he actually went on wikipedia and he read the entire damn plot for the flash i don't know why he would do that uh, but he did it and i know you're watching this video and yeah you're weird for that and you know the thing with me is that you know a movie could be as bad as it could be i have certain like you know rule that you know i'll see it for myself and like you know have an opinion on it but i don't know ever since i've turned 20 or something superhero movies have just been disappointing like they're just been garbage and you know i've also been through the traumatic experience of watching ant man 3 in the cinema so yeah that really like you know you know it, it was a, it was truly a traumatic event watching that movie and so for the first time i was like you know what just tell me just tell me what happens in the movie and the thing is my friend like you know he was to like you know give me bare bone stuff he wasn't giving me the entire plot he was just like oh they followed this sort of a route like you know this other film has done it and like they followed this route and that but the thing that really grabbed my attention was the fact that he basically tells me that you know the movie has a lot of cameos and stuff and he started asking me like oh who do you think is in this movie like you know because it's like you know like a big multiverse event and everything and i start guessing and then at some point i'm like surely this person is not in it and he's like uh and i'm like dude what is warner brothers actually doing with their movies like it's actually crazy because this is actually the best time for them to actually put out some good movies get some new fans in just do well in terms of superhero movies because if i'm being honest right now marvel is not doing too well in this scene like they have dropped some absolute stinkers ant-man 3 for example i didn't hear a lot of stuff about black panther 2 like you know big like movies that had a lot of stuff going on for them in the past you know and they've not been great and even their shows have been like you know some of them have been pretty mediocre so you know this was the best time for dc movies to really really shine out and i think you know like let's give them some credit for some good movies that they've put out like for example the joker wait that's the wrong movie yeah that's the right one and you know for example the batman the batman was a great film but that's also the wrong film oh yeah that's the one i'm talking about but then again marvel can afford to have a few stinkers here and there you know because again their foundation was so strong with like you know going back all the way to iron man one like the foundation for them is so strong that they can have a few stinkers and still have a very good foundation and people will still come back and watch their movies and buy their merchandise and like just consume everything that they put out and yeah like despite the stinkers that i mentioned that marvel has you know released they still had guardians of the galaxy 3 and they still had across the spider-verse even though like you know it's technically sony but at the same time they have creative control over it to some degree like they can still put out great movies despite having a few stinkers here and there i think one of my main annoyances with dc you know is just how they have gone about casting great actors for roles and they've just been wasted like man of steel came out in 2013 it's 2023 now and we still have not gotten another superman movie and i'm sorry but henry cavill was like the best casting you could have had for superman and now they're starting a whole new project and it's like dude like i was in middle school when man of steel dropped and now i'm finishing up college in a year and there's not been a single standalone superman movie since then like henry cavill was in man of steel he was in batman for superman and then he was in the justice league and that's it like he had one standalone he had half of a movie and then he was part of a giant movie same thing with ben affleck i think ben affleck was like not my favorite choice of batman but i would have loved to see his side of batman you know and again he had no standalone movie basically there was batman versus superman and then there was justice league and with justice league you know there's the whole thing of like you know it being released in 27 and then the Snyder card comes out so it's like okay which movie is really the real movie you know like I enjoyed the Snyder card
inspired way more than the original one but then it's like you know what are you doing with your movies and how are you going about it like the crazy thing is that wonder woman's first movie came out in 2017 and she's had more stand on movies than batman or superman and again you know that makes sense if you want to center the entire justice league around wonder woman but then justice league rolls around and then you see that she's basically like the second or third most important character in the movie and you know like the first two are obviously batman and superman but then why the hell are you not doing anything with batman and superman in standalone movies and actually developing the character like there's absolutely no sense to the structure of dc movies and if i'm being honest like they should just give up on the multiverse and like you know an expanded universe just make good standalone movies like the joker and the batman and that's it like you know warner brothers is a big studio they just don't handle like you know superhero movies like marvel does so just like you know make good standalone movies make good standalone batman movies superman movies wonder woman movies and other characters and just forget about an expanded universe of dc characters if it's not working out you know like out of the 10 biggest flops in superhero movies six of them are dc movies like right before flash you know shazam 2 didn't do really well and i didn't know this but the second wonder woman film didn't do well because it was released right in the middle of the pandemic so it's like if six of the top 10 biggest superhero box office flops are dc then there's a clear issue with the way that they're going about these movies and yeah i think they should just like you know give up on like an expanded universe make good standalone movies like the batman and the joker they were great films and yeah just forget about an expanded universe where you constantly butcher characters plot line and then recast characters in order to make things work and yeah that's all i have to say i guess